kind of want to delete or get rid of the Instagram app and it is stationary first week <laughs> next week which is crazy Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new studio vlog. This is going to be a day in the life because I'm literally in here for today only this week. I'm off to London tomorrow for my birthday to go and see the live action of Spirited Away which I am so so excited about. I mentioned it in last week's vlog and I will maybe potentially put in a couple of clips of that um, when editing this video. But yeah, we're in here all day and it's currently half eight. I wanted to start pretty early because we've got so much to do. So I need to write out a plan as always and I need to kind of like, well, I need to schedule reels and emails because I kind of want to delete or get rid of the Instagram app for whilst I'm away and just enjoy my time and not to be focused on social media. So I want everything organized and prepared and scheduled. So I need to do that, but we I need to we need to make so many so many products for stationery fest because I don't have any other time in here this week for stationery fest. Potentially after work on Thursday I can do a few hours, but that is it. So, and then obviously the week later I'm in Starbucks two days and it is stationery fest week. <laughs> next week which is crazy so yeah we've got loads to do and we are just gonna crack on with it i'm gonna get up my notion get my journal out as always get my timer on my pomodoro timer some nice music and get cracking but if you are new here and you've just clicked on this video thank you so much first of all and i am beck and i'm creator and owner of rebel jones acquire stationery shop and we are currently working towards making this a full-time thing so you are you are on the journey with me let's go crack on with the day and make loads and loads of products <laughs> i feel like that's all i've done in the past month <laughs>
missed that and I just watched some of the old footage from earlier and I'm so sorry it was a bit like delayed don't know what happened so I just reset my whole settings and I've done that now right so let's get a I have made tumblers I've made backing cards for the lanyards I need to make sticker sheets for the washi tape I've made more sticker sheets and I thought right now I mean it is 10 past 12 I was meant to have done all of this by now but all that ain't happening I've got the last remaining pink dream plan do pencil cases to do one two three four five six seven eight left so if we do that <clears throat> whoa what just happened to my voice I have I need to go on my five minute break and when we're back we are going to crack on with the pencil cases and whilst the pencil cases are being done I will print out the washi tape stickers my other washi tapes and then we can also crack on with lanyards and then we can kind of figure out what we've done so far but products are being made which is the main thing but I still need to send out some kickstarters and order an order that came through on the weekend so loads to do but we'll get it done we'll get it done um yeah I'm gonna go on my break and I'll be back and we can make some more pencil cases <laughs> cases are done I've got so many more sticker sheets that I need to round the corners but to be honest I think I might just do that when I'm in the Airbnb when I get to stationary first like it's not a must do now pencil cases are done I ordered DTF transfers today for the rest of the tote bags and the purple pencil cases these ones that are having the journey starts now here and I think I've ordered enough where I can have it on both sides maybe we'll see I'm gonna have some lunch some lunch so and but I need to also put some lanyards on their backing so that's what I'm gonna do now whilst I'm eating so let's crack on with it shall we I like watching vlogs when I'm eating food I've watched so many today I don't know who to catch up on oh Tasha's got a new one I'll watch Tasha's Yes, it is. Hello Fresh is worth the price because I'm freaking eating it now and every recipe is absolutely delightful. Okay. Oh, 
Wow, thirsty, thirsty. Let's go. Headlights on the highway If you only knew Being back here Always makes me think of you When the world is sleeping Do you think of me? With the road of lights Come back again Come back to me yeah. I remember the long drives To late nights in Windows down empty streets, you were all I used to know. You and I forever, forever ago. And you used to drive me home. No one drive alone. You and I forever, forever, forever ago.
Something about me feels strange. Something is just not the same. I haven't been thinking about you. Even when I should. All the lies they told me. Dark Market stores with terrace bars. Our own Foss Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> In Camden. Come all the way. Just go. Stinking cute, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. 
so sorry I don't look very presentable, but I needed to come on to end this vlog. I have been having the best birthday. The last things that you would have seen was me in London and obviously I went to go and see Spirited Away stage production and oh my gosh, it was amazing. Like, I loved it. Now, I always, I watch obviously loads of Studio Ghibli all the time and I watch it with an English, with it dubbed, English American I think they call it and I've never watched them in Japanese and do you know what, you will probably judge me for that but I think it's because that's how I started watching them and that's how I always watch them. However, with the stage product, what? Munbin. You're not anymore, babes. We've turned you off. Yeah, so I, the stage production was in Japanese with subtitles. However, because I know the whole story of Spirited Away, I chose not to read the subtitles because I didn't want my focus to be on that. And I wanted to really focus on the incredible set that they had on stage, the actors and just everything about it. I wanted to be immersed in it and I just watched it and it was amazing. I loved it and I loved watching it and listening to it in Japanese. So I am now looking out for the My Neighbor Totoro, Totoro one because they do that as well. So as soon as that pops up, I will be booking that. But I'd highly, highly recommend going to see it. If you are in the studio, a fellow Studio Ghibli fan, then please go and check it out because it was amazing. However, I do have a story because it's so typical that this would happen. So we were positioned right at the top. I can't remember what it was. But, oh, it was on the balcony. It was on the balcony and we were right at the back. And it was going, we were really enjoying it. It was lush and then a woman arrived pretty late to be fair. And of course her seat was next to us. And she, I think she had had something to drink because I could smell, I say something quite a lot. I could smell alcohol. And then, which doesn't really bother me, like it's, it's fine, I don't, I'm not bothered by it, but I was sat there and I looked over, <laughs> looked over and she's literally like this. And I was thinking, what the heck? If you chose to come and see Studio Ghibli, how the heck can you fall asleep to this? It's incredible. Anyway, she then, got told off because she was on her phone. She was like, her phone was bright and she was like messaging or doing something and someone came over to her and was like, sorry madam, can you turn your phone off? You're not allowed your phone on in here. And she was like, yes, I'm just, mess I'm just messaging someone. And I was just like, what? I just, it just annoyed, it just yeah, annoyed me. It started to get annoying. And then she went back to sleep again. And then all of a sudden, guys, I'm not kidding you. All we heard was this high pitch. I believe it was uh, an alarm, a rape alarm, I think. I don't know if you've ever owned one of them. I used to have one when I was younger and it's so piercing, which is a good thing by the way, because people need to freaking hear that if something is going wrong or if anyone is in trouble like it needs to pierce the ears however not when we are watching Studio Ghibli <laughs> um it scared the crap out of me I don't know if like I don't know if you get like this but when I get like shocked and really really scared I start to feel a bit like nauseous and I was like my heart was pounding anyway it was like going off and off so she woke up from her sleep and it took a while until she like walked out with it and I felt so sorry for the people doing uh, the actors and everything like everyone on stage they were amazing like they weren't phased they carried on because that is why they are professional actors and actresses like that is why they do their job and that is why they are chosen to do this stuff because I don't know how they do it because it would have thrown me off massively anyway probably for the next 10 minutes after that happened all we could hear was it outside so it would turn off then turn back on so I think there was something she, like she couldn't turn it off anyway she ended up coming 
back in and leaving that alarm out the back and yeah she kept on falling asleep again and then and then a guy that works there decided to blow his nose right behind us whilst this is all like you know the stage production is still going on blow his nose so loud and i was thinking why would you just not leave do it outside and come back in anyway besides that besides those instances they it was incredible and i highly recommend it but i just was saying to tom it's like it's typical that we have this kind of story like it can't just go very simple and nice a few things have to happen but you know what that's what makes life a bit more fun when you just have a good story <laughs> Am I making any sense? Do I sound really bad right now? I really hope I don't. Anyway, it was amazing. I loved it and I ate so much food out there. It was the best. I tried gachapon for the first time. It was so much fun. I won the little tandro, tandro and its macaron and the little cat with its cute little bum. And yeah, it was just, uh, I just had the best time. And then when we got back, I had a shift in Starbucks. And then the Friday, which was yesterday, I headed off to Celtic Manor with my dad and my stepmom and Tom and just had the best time. So relaxing, so chilling. And yeah, I've been home now for a few hours. I've been working on something very, very exciting. I'm just gonna show you a quick, a quick sneak peek. And I will show you more next week in the studio vlog. So on that note, if you have enjoyed this video and would like to stay up to date with all the other videos to come, don't forget to press that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can get notified of when those videos are up. Because next week, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying it, is Stationery Fest week. I usually post vlogs up on a Sunday. However, this vlog I am hoping will be going up on Friday the day before stationery fest and we've only got one full day in the studio next week because I'm leaving on the Thursday to go up to Manchester and then Tuesday Wednesday I'm in Starbucks so I'm gonna have to do what I don't like to do which is work before my Starbucks shifts but we'll see how tomorrow goes uh, see how Monday goes sorry I have got loads of stock already made and done you would have seen me do all that kind of stuff in this vlog i have got new transfers that have arrived we still have things to make so my plan we also i have not like set up my stall of how i want it to look so tomorrow is sunday and i'm going to be starting this vlog tomorrow because i want to set up my stall so i know exactly where everything can go where everything should go and will be spray painting my grabber machine and also making some really big pink clouds and just set it all up so we can see how it looks. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to see all my friends on like next Friday. I'm so, so excited to see everyone. And it's just gonna be the best time ever and I can't wait to bring you along with me. So thank you so much for joining me on this day in the life. I realize that it's really not that long and I'm so so sorry sometimes life just gets busy and I can't record as much but I still really hope you've enjoyed it and we have new things to try next week my transfers for the purple pencil cases are here so we get to essentially be press on those which I've never done before so that's going to be interesting yeah i'd love to see you there love you to come and join me thank you so much again as always for being here and supporting me you're amazing and i will see you next week for stationary first week before we go let's comment a comment a little london emoji below if you've watched this video to the end i forgot to do that in last week's video so i wanted to try and do it in this one okay i am gonna go again now bye. love you bye love you bye Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>